slime I have ever done ever we are gonna have a go at making ourselves some butter slime now today we're making the non edible kind so do not eat this after you've made this okay and especially today a lot of people in the comment section were saying last week how they wanted exact measurements for making slime otherwise we weren't allowed so today I have exact measurements for you guys so what you need for this butter slime recipe today is you need yourself some PVA glue, some contact solution, some lens contact solution, some shaving cream, some yellow food coloring, some baking soda, some corn flour. <laughs> what else do we need? Uh, you need yourself a tablespoon, a spatula, a mixing bowl, and um, that's about it. <laughs> okay, so that's everything that we need to make our slime today. Let's get on with it. Let's show you the mixing bowl. So what you want to start off with first is you need yourself your corn flour. Now for this, you need three tablespoons of it. Three tablespoons of corn flour. So let's do this. Uh, we're doing this exact today, exact measurements for one. So. If it doesn't work, then <laughs> it didn't work exactly. Okay, one tablespoon. Trying to get these as flat as possible. Two. Three. Three. Get it all in, let's get all that in there. Okay, so that's three tablespoons of corn flour. Next, what we need is we need three tablespoons of PVA glue. Now this is going to be very weird for me to do because I normally just pour my glue straight up in there but today we're going to measure it properly. First of all we've got to do this little fun thing which we do every slime video. Come on, come on. This time, nope, oh, you're not going to work are you? Yes, finally. Okay, so let's do it. This is going to be so weird pouring glue into a spoon. Okay, this is gonna be an exact measurement for once. Okay, look at that. Besides that little dribble there, look at how perfect that is. That's exactly one. Okay, so that's one. This is so weird doing it like this. If it you guys said you wanted it exact. Okay, that's a bit over exact. Two. This smells so weird. Corn flour and glue together. Who would have thought it? Okay. Then that's three. Three tablespoons of PVA glue in there. So next we need to add some shaving foam. Now this is gonna be weird. We need to add three tablespoons of shaving foam. Now these are probably not gonna be exact measurements, but they're gonna be as closest as we can get today. Closest is not a word. Okay, let's just give you shaving foam a quick shake. Right, let's do this. Okay. That's, that's, that's pretty much one, right? Okay, one. Go on, shame folk, get in there. Oh, this stuff stinks. Okay. Two. Okay, these are definitely not exact measurements. Okay, three. The only thing you can do with this is try and judge it the best you can. Okay, so I think that's pretty much three there. Right, so what we need to do next is we need to add four four pinches of baking soda. Okay. One pinch. Two pinches. Three pinches. Four pinches. See, that's proper exact that. Look at that. All mixed up in there. Next bit we need to do is we need to add our yellow food coloring in because otherwise it's not gonna be looking very buttery. So let's add some yellow up in there. The next we need to get our spatula and we need to give this a mix in. We need to mix all this together. Hopefully this is gonna turn yellow and slimy and 
It's just looking like a huge mess of a moment. Okay, this is kind of feeling like like bacon right now. This is so weird. Okay, let's just get that all in there. It's going yellow, which I'm happy about. The shaving foam's mixing in with it well. I'm just trying to get all these bits off the side and kind of like give it a nice little mix in there. When you're doing this, you need to really make sure that you really give it a really, really good mix in because you are mixing loads of different ingredients in here. Look at that. It does look a little bit like butter. Maybe it needs to be a little bit tiny, a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Okay, so this next you're gonna need a teaspoon. Now you wanna add two, two teaspoons of contact solution in here. This is what's gonna make it change into some slime. There's one. And two. And you wanna give, give that a mix in there. true test to see if it's butter slime or not. Let's put it on the cabinet like that and we're gonna see if it spreads like butter. It spreads like butter as well. Look at that. That is absolutely crazy. That is proper butter slime. It's so weird. Okay, does it come off the cabinet? Yes, it does. Oh my goodness, I'm happy at that. Look at that! It's like actual butter. This is re I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with this recipe. Look at that. Let me just butter some up. And it comes right off the knife as well. This thing's really good. See? Butter, 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 butter. So guys, that was the uh, DIY butter slime. I think you can all agree it turned out pretty well. I'm really happy on how it turned out. That's what happens when you use exact measurements you see instead of just going, oh, we'll add a little bit more glue, we'll add a little bit more glue there, but it actually works. Look at it, it looked pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So guys, if you did enjoy today's slime video, make sure to give it a like. If you do have any suggestions for any other um, kind of like slime videos and that, let me know in the comment section down below. Big thank you for watching, and remember, even when uh, I need some bread for this butter, it's still gonna risk it for a biscuit. Bye!